Hey guys, RC back again with another new part. Here we have the wide track front end. As you can see, there's no flange on the outside. So we get full maximum tire width. We also have a brass retainer for outside weight. And you never have to worry about them falling off. You can reuse them a few times. I have done so already. Um, the tires are a different size than our old tires. Our old tires will work on these rims. Um, it's actually the same tire, but because the outside ridge is raised, it is about an eighth thou difference. Um, what you can see what that angle does, it creates a nice contoured angle here. We got just a little bit of wiggle on the rim because we kind of have to. Uh, we have have about twenty five thou play. So if you want to space it, some guys like these tight, some guys like these loose. There are many many ways to uh, run a T jet. Uh, some other cool features, small things. Um, Here's a look at the retainer. We also have a low friction retainer, which I would only recommend using if you're gonna space the front end tight because it'll allow the rim to rock a lot more. One thing you can do with the front end, instead of spacing both, if you race on an oval, put both the inside, turn left, obviously. You can also, I mean, you can experiment. You can also run them like this. Put the weight more to the inside than the outside. Um, it's a very interesting... It's a very interesting thing. We'll see what develops with how guys like to race them. Inside, outside, all things like that. We also have a plastic rim. The plastic rim is also means that there's less rotating mass. Therefore, this should be the hot ticket. Um, so hopefully, we'll see soon. Um, we'll see soon, you know, what, what everybody thinks of it. But you can put the retainers on with a hammer. Make sure you have a rounded edge on your axle. You know, you want a nice chamfer. You don't want a sharp edge like over here. You can also use uh, your friendly neighborhood wheel press to push them on just to make sure they're going on straight when you line them up. You can you can bend this flange out here. You can bend that a little bit. It's not very thick, so if you hit it at an angle, you can bend it. It will bend back. It is brass, so in this case, the front end comes in at about 2.6 grams, fully loaded. Uh, the good part is if you want to lose if you want to lose some weight, I am you know most groups allow you to modify parts. You can just take some weight off the outside of one of these and off you go. It's not really hard for most guys to uh, chuck those up in a lathe or us to Dremel and just trim them down. We may be able to offer them at a lighter weight in case guys want lighter weight later on. Uh, this is just what we're starting out with. Got to make sure you know. Got to make sure that everybody's happy with it before we make too many adjustments. Uh, it seems to be very, very good in testing so far. And uh, you know, I have no complaints about it so far. So hopefully, when you try it, you'll have just as much success as I have.